Staging is simply the arrangement or placement of your subject or elements to draw audience's attention to the desired part. It is your compositional skill on how you maintain balance in your scene or in your frame, uh, balance and wide uh, space uh, in design. The presentation should be clear to the viewer. The concept of staging comes from the early days of stage plays when actors uh, had to stage themselves uh, very clearly in the frame for the viewers to be clear about their actions and position and to make everyone understand and have visual clarity uh, of their poses. So how you can make better staging of your objects or characters or elements in your scene? For example, here you can see two poses uh, of the character, uh, the way uh, they are staged. Uh, the bottom one is uh, straightforward and not much thought has been put into it. So if you are a little bit far away, if you see it in silhouette, it, the pose is really not that clear. In the fast moving pace of the animation or the movie itself, uh, perhaps the pose would not be read that well by the audiences. So what we can do is stage him a little bit uh, differently and uh, make the pose read clearly, make the action read much more clearly uh, than it was before. Staging is also how you place the objects in your scene, how you uh, make the placement better so that the audience's eyes are led from one object to another and the way you intend them to. So here for example, I have this uh, cactus plant and if I make some copies, so if you know, let's say if I have four of them right now and I want to compose them in a scene and one of them is uh, my subject one, I want audiences to see that one part first. So how do I stage it if uh, let's say if this one is it, okay, so what I can do is maybe scale this up in the foreground. This one is our subject, so maybe this goes way in the back. This is here. And this is way close close to the camera now uh, let's see let's say if this one is important because uh, it's not only about the size if even if it's the smallest in your scene how you compose it uh, will really matter all right so what I can do is I can uh, maybe use a focal length to uh, blur this object a little bit. Uh, you can do this in any motion design. You can play with uh, depth uh, in the Z depth and uh, use like like in a DSLR camera that you have. You know, if if you focus on one uh, object, the the closer object to the lens and the object which is far behind uh, is blurred and the focus is set on your uh, your particular subject so that it is clear where you uh, want to uh, focus your audience's eyes on so uh, here we have the blurred it a little bit because it's too close to the camera and maybe this one we can do the we can do the same but not that much as it is a little farther away all right now if uh, even without doing anything i can uh, i could say that this this part is my main subject because uh, if you just close your eyes and open them, the first thing you'll see is, is this part, not this one, even though it is closer to the camera and even not this one. And this is just because it's not placed very well and it's not very well composed. All right. So uh, let me just exaggerate this effect 
a little more I'm sorry and let's have a little bit of blur to this one you can also play with color you know if, if your scene is uh, having a fixed palette if it's uh, some some blue tint and everything is in that shade you can have a little bit of contrast with your subject uh, like in a film when you see uh, a crowd is moving and uh, you know a crowd scene in maybe a new new york city and uh, your character is in that crowd so how do you show it so maybe if everyone is gray and black and corporate your character can be wearing something yellow so even though your camera is not really on uh, your main character on your subject but the audience will definitely the audience will just see that one character the focus of the audience will go to that character okay so that's that's how you can stage your characters in your frame or your, the objects in your frame so always uh, remember you can play with depth color maybe lighting okay let's see if we can play with lighting a little bit to enhance our staging I'll just do a simple trick here Okay, and I'll just simply take an eraser, a really soft one. And like a spotlight is on it, you can instantly see that we want audience to look at this spot. In the crowd of all the other cactuses, this is the one. Okay, so this is how you can play with staging. Like in this example, you can see that because of the placement and the enhanced motion of uh, the Batman icon, uh, it is clearly visible that that's where I want people to see first. That's where I want to lead my audience's eyes at. This is the primary object and then Wolverine or Batman, they are secondary. And if there are uh, other objects as well, I can place them accordingly. But I, we know that Batman is the leader of Justice League. So <laughs> this is really a simple example, but uh, I guess this clears up the point of uh, what exactly is staging and how you can uh, place your objects in your composition in your frame how you can prioritize uh, the subject of your scene and make it a better staging and have a better visual clarity